Are you getting the IDP Alexa virus detection? In this video, you will know what IDP Alexa is and how to remove it. If your antivirus detects genuine software as IDP Alexa, we will also tell you how to fix that. Before we start this guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. What is IDP Alexa? Antivirus like Avast or AVG uses IDP Alexa to warn you about dangerous programs. This detection name is used to tell you that your PC might have a Trojan that could steal your confidential information. Such kinds of detection are common with programs that have been associated with any malicious activity. The software itself might be genuine, but the cyber criminals bundle the Trojan with the program and distribute it to the users. That's the reason your antivirus warns you. If you think the software you are installing is genuine and obtained from the official source, you can ignore the detection and go ahead. However, if you are not sure about the authenticity of the software, you should immediately delete it. The IDP Alexa detection can appear with other codes like IDP Alexa 51 or IDP Alexa 53, IDP Alexa PowerShell, IDP Alexa KMS Pico, etc., etc. The purpose of these codes is to tell you the working level of the Trojan. How does IDP Alexa enter your PC? IDP Alexa Trojan enters your PC with the help of genuine software or games. The cyber criminals bundle the Trojan with genuine software, and when you install them, you infect yourself with the Trojan. The IDP Alexa Trojan is common with games like Sea Monkey and Plants vs. Zombies. However, these games are genuine, but only when you obtain them from the official stores. The IDP Alexa could also enter your PC as a browser extension or so-called performance-enhancing apps. You should only install reputed software and games from the official websites. What are the dangers of IDP Alexa virus? Usually, the IDP Alexa works as adware or browser hijackers that used to change your browser's settings and redirect you to malicious sites and display advertisements. However, it has also been seen that the IDP Alexa is associated with dangerous malware like spyware and rootkits. If they get into your system, you won't even notice them, and they keep recording your activity and sent back to the hackers. They can also open the backdoor access to the hackers. While if they are in the form of adware and hijackers, you will see irritating pop-ups, browser redirects to unknown sites, ads in awkward places, so you should immediately consider removing them. How to remove the IDP Alexa virus? To remove the IDP Alexa virus, you have to examine your PC thoroughly. Follow the steps in their order to remove it completely. Remove pirated and unwanted software. The first step to remove the IDP Alexa virus from your PC is to remove the pirated and unwanted software because this virus enters your PC with the help of this software. To remove them, click on Start and type Control Panel. Open it. Then click on Uninstall a program. You will see the list of all installed programs. The first thing you should do is click on Installed on to sort it and then remove the recently installed program. The last program that you have installed might be the culprit. Select the program and click on the Uninstall button, then follow the instructions to remove it. If you have installed any pirated or cracked software, find them and uninstall them also. Now observe the installed programs list and remove the one that you don't need or don't remember installing. Delete temporary files. IDP Alexa virus is often hide in temporary files. From there, they can restore themselves, so you have to clear your temporary files. To do that, click on the Start menu and type Disk Cleanup. Click on it to open. Click OK. Now deselect everything and select Temporary Internet Files and Temporary Files. Click OK, then confirm your action by clicking on Delete Files. Reset your browsers. Now you have to clean the infection from your browsers. IDP Alexa virus could hijack the settings of your browser and keep tracking your activity. It could also be in the form of a browser add-on or extension, so you should reset the browsers to their default setting to completely clean them. To reset the settings of Google Chrome, click on the Menu button, then Settings, Advanced, then click on Restore settings to their original defaults. 
Now confirm your action. To reset the settings of Mozilla Firefox, click on the Menu button, then Help. Then click on Troubleshooting Information. Now click on Refresh Firefox. Now click on Refresh Firefox again to confirm your action. If you are using Microsoft Edge, open the menu, then go to Settings. Click on Reset Settings from the left sidebar. Now click on Restore Settings to their default values. Then confirm your action by clicking on the Reset button. Scan with Anti-Malware If you are getting the IDP Alexa virus detection on the Avast or AVG, you can rescan your PC with that to make sure the virus is gone. To double sure that your PC is completely clean, you should scan it with anti-malware. You can use Malwarefox anti-malware. It is a light anti-malware that works on the heuristic approach to catch modern computer threats. Download it from the link in the description. Now install it. Press the scan button. Malwarefox can easily detect spyware, keyloggers, trojans, rootkits, ransomware, and adware. Once the scan is completed, click on Next to remove the threats. Do you think the detected program is not a virus? If you have installed a legitimate program and your antivirus detects it as an IDP Alexa virus, it could be a false positive detection. To make sure your program is clean, you can scan it on the virus total. Upload your program and see the result. If none of the antivirus engines detect it, then it's a false positive detection. You can simply add it in the exception and then run the program. You can also report it as a false positive. They will analyze your program and clear it in the next update. How to avoid such threats in the future To avoid threats like the IDP Alexa virus in the future, you should follow some safe internet practices. Install a reputed anti-malware and regularly scan your device. Do not download pirated, cracked, or free software from the unofficial site. Always download the program from the official website. You should not click on the links or open attachments from spam emails. Keep all of your software in Windows up to date. Make sure your security software has the latest virus definitions. Do not click on the pop-ups you see on shady websites. These websites may trick you into installing malicious extensions that will infect your PC with IDP Alexa virus. If you follow these tips, you can easily protect your PC from the threats like IDP generic. That's it for this video. If it does help you, press the like button and share the video with your friends. We keep uploading videos related to computer security, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.